Hey kids, comics. Over here at Bronze Age Babe here, yakking about our comic book collection, and today asking a very simple question. Is now the time for you to start collecting Lois Lane? And the short answer to that is, yes it is. <laughs> um, ever since the news of um, the casting of Rachel Brosnahan um, in the upcoming James Gunn movie um, uh, of Superman, I have just been so excited um, because Rachel Brosnahan uh, is an incredibly talented actress. She's won Golden Globe. She's won an Emmy. She was in um, the first couple seasons of House of Cards, which is how I uh, first became aware of her. And it was a very uh, uh, dramatic and wonderful role that she had. Uh, sad, but she was fantastic in it. Um, and she's most known now for um, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel, which is a TV show that just uh, ended its run. But here's what I think about that casting. Uh, they couldn't have done a better job. First of all, Rachel Brosnahan, besides being super talented, <laughs> I think she just is going to bring um, kind of a vim and vigor to the role of Lois Lane that has been lost uh, low these many years um, since actually uh, Margot Kidder. Um, uh, she just strikes me as someone who can handle drama for sure, but also the <laughs> the fun stuff that was Lois Lane um, in the Silver and Bronze Age. Um, and uh, it seems like James Gunn seems uh, to me like he's talking about having a um, kind of a lighter tone. Um, and while I love Henry Cavill as Superman and I'm a big Amy Adams fan, uh, Amy Adams was not uh, <laughs> Lois Lane of that type. Um, so, uh, and the other thing about Rachel Brosnahan, she's great on talk shows. <laughs> uh, don't discount that because she's, um, you know, half the battle of, of selling a superhero movie to people beyond uh, people who go to a superhero movie is doing press for it. And she is charming as all get out. Um, and I think she's going to be a terrific choice. So um, if you uh, are uh, interested in collecting Lois Lane, boy, do you have a lot to pick from. Uh, there are Golden Age books. Um, now, she didn't get her own title uh, until 1957. And uh, there are a few key issues of Lois Lane to be on the lookout for, but they are pricey. Uh, the first uh, key is this showcase number is it nine, um, which was the very first book with Lois Lane on the title. It was a tryout book from 1957. And it was quickly followed up by yet another tryout book, number 10. Uh, so, and this, this book actually, I, I did a video on it not long ago, and I think this does um, an even better job of setting up what the Lois Lane comic books were going to be um, through uh, that entire run through 1974. Uh, they're just fantastic. Uh, Lois Lane number one quickly followed. Um, and don't think that I'm just such a, an amazing collector. This <laughs> this is a coverless book, but I have a Xerox cover on it because I am the cheapo collector. But um, it's great to have the book and it's a fun story. A um, couple other uh, Lois Lane keys to be on the lookout for. This is the first, this is number 70. And it's the first appearance, Silver Age appearance of Catwoman. And so that's why that is um, kind of a sought after book. <laughs> and then the other uh, key for Lois Lane is this number 106. This is from 1970 or 71. I am curious black where uh, Lois Lane turns black for a day. Uh, believe it or not, yes she does. So <laughs> there you go. Um, so you've got some Bronze Age stuff which I really enjoy uh, because they were talking about you know kind of feminism a, a little bit. Um, but the uh, and I think those books can be had kind of inexpensively. I'm a big fan of the Silver Age run of Lois Lane um, the, in the 60s. Uh, the art is done by a guy named Kurt Schaffenberger. And he did the cover art and he did the story art. And they were just fun. They're absolutely fun books. And also, occasionally, quite weird 
Dad, I'm so happy you married Lois Lane and adopted me. Now we can go out and perform super feats together. Oh my God, I'm jealous. Um, yes, it's an imaginary tale, but what imagination came up with that? So it's just, you know, funky stuff like that uh, that is kind of entertaining. Oh, and here's a copy of this. I, is this from um, All-Star Superman? The one that James Gunn may be kind of... Uh, borrowing from i don't know but there's tons of lois lane to pick from um tons of different eras uh current uh incarnation of lois lane is in these the current superman run this is a ramona Fraden uh variant cover and lois lane goes from reporter to editor-in-chief uh that's the variant cover for number one um, there's also um, a great maxi series that came out a few years ago uh, called Lois Lane, Enemy of the People. This is a variant cover. I think it was a convention uh, cover, but uh, this it's a 12 issue run and they, it also came out in a, a trade paperback. Um, and so it's a very, um, it's obviously all Lois Lane, all reporting all the time. And it's a great story. I'm a big fan of it. So, so there it is. There's my reaction to the casting news of Rachel Brosnahan. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to see uh, what they do with the film. And uh, I hope everybody <laughs> uh, gets their Lois Lane mojo going because she's a heck of a character and uh, she's a lot of fun to, to read and collect. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. I'll see you next time.